Hi, my name is Joel Glagowski. I'm a librarian here at Georgia State University. I'm going to give you a quick overview of EndNote today. EndNote is a citation management tool that can help you collect, manage, and store references for your research papers. It also has a plugin for Microsoft Word, so you can use that plugin to insert and format citations and bibliographies into Word documents. It can be a huge time saver during the writing and research process. At Georgia State University, we have a site license for EndNote, so any student or employee of GSU can download a copy for free. You can access the download link at this URL here. It says research.library.gsu.edu slash EndNote. That actually goes to our EndNote research guide. I also put my contact information on this page. If you have any questions about EndNote, feel free to contact me. This is the EndNote research guide. You can download EndNote through this link here. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, there are also some helpful resources on this page. There's some videos, FAQs, and help resources on this page. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see those, including uh, my contact information. There's also tabs on this guide that can help you figure out how to do certain functions with EndNote. So if you want to know how to add references to your EndNote library, you can click on this tab. Or if you want to learn how to create bibliographies, there's some, some tips here. There's also an online component to EndNote. If you're interested in finding more uh, about that, you can click on this EndNote online link. You can also attach PDFs to EndNote references, so this tab helps you with that. I do want to go to the download page just for a minute here. So if we click download, it's going to take you to Technology Services Software Download page. If you scroll down a little bit, you will see there's this EndNote for Students section here. So you have a, an option to download it for Windows or Mac. For Windows users, you will be prompted for a product key, and sometimes it's not intuitive how to find that product key, so make sure you click on this instructions link where it says Windows, and it's going to walk you through the process of how to find that product key. To start using EndNote, you will need a library. So to create an EndNote library, you may see a prompt to create an EndNote library the first time you open up EndNote. If you don't, you'll see this uh, file menu near the top. If you click File New, you can go ahead and create a new library. EndNote wants to call it my EndNote library. I already have an, a library called my EndNote library, so I'm going to just create one called my library. So this is my EndNote library. Um, doesn't look like much because we haven't put anything into it yet. I just want to point out one thing. There's this style menu up here, so this is where you can choose what style you want to format your references in. If you don't see the style you want to use in this short drop-down menu, you can click select another style, and there's a bigger list. If you still don't see what you need, actually EndNote's website has thousands of styles for you to choose from. You can download them directly from their website. The most common way people add references to their EndNote libraries is through a process called the direct export. A direct export is when you run a search in a database and then export the results directly into EndNote. So I'm in Business Source Complete here. I've already run a search for Coca-Cola, and I can see my results here. So let's say this first article is the article I want to put into my EndNote library. So if I click on the title of the article, I'll see there's this export button. If I click on that, there's also a save option down there. And so by the way, this process only works on a Mac if you're using Firefox or Chrome. So if you're on a Mac, it won't work with Safari or Internet Explorer. Um, and the first time you do this, your computer might not know what to do with this file. So instead of just opening it, uh, what I like to do is go to Show in File. And now here is my EndNote file. If I right-click on that, I see an option to open with EndNote. Uh, this Research Soft Direct Export Helper is actually an EndNote utility, so either one of these would work. So um, there's the file in my EndNote library. Okay, so now that we have a reference in our EndNote library, I want to show you how you can insert that reference into a Word document. So I've opened up Word, and after you've installed EndNote, you should see an EndNote toolbar on Word, and this has all the commands you would use to insert and format citations in a Word document. The most basic function is to insert a citation. So if I click on this Insert Citation button, EndNote's going to open up this search box. And this search box searches my EndNote library, I already know I had an article in there about Coke, so if I do a little search for Coke, I see that one reference, and now down below, I'm going to click on the Insert button, and EndNote's going to insert the in-text citation and the bibliography entry. And as I were to add more references to my, to my paper, EndNote would automatically uh, reorder the bibliography to make sure it's consistent with whatever style I had. That was a quick overview of EndNote. 
There's a lot more you can do with EndNote, so if you have questions, feel free to contact me. But hopefully that's enough to get you started. Thank you.